Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song called The Truth Untold by BTS, okay? I'll be teaching you the awesome chorus section, go somewhere like this, give you a preview. It's a particular section that kind of plays twice but the ending is kind of like added an extra thing, so it goes like this. Let's get right into it. So here we go. Let's break it up to parts to learn it so it's easier. Let me see. Uh, one. Okay. Okay. I think I know how many parts. Okay. So four parts in this lesson. So it goes like this. Right hand, the first part starts on the G sharp up here. So middle C is here for reference. Go up an octave to this C. Go up to the G sharp. That's where we start. So it goes G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E. And then it goes. F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, C sharp, B. Just like that. Okay, so that's the first part. So quite a lot of notes, so remember, just like write it down. It will be easier for you to remember, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this. It goes G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E. F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. B, C sharp, B. And that's the right hand for the first part, okay? It's like this. Like that. So that's the first part for the right hand. Left hand, for the first part, we have five chords here. Remember, the five chords are in this particular order. First chord is E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Second chord is G sharp major, which is G sharp, C, D sharp. And then the third and the fourth chord are both A majors, which is A, C sharp, E, so two of them. And then the fifth chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so with these five chords in mind, so E major, G sharp major, A major twice, and B major. The two hands together goes like this, goes E major by itself. Ryan comes in. After F sharp, G sharp major by itself. After E, A major by itself. F sharp and A major together, F sharp and B major together, just like that, and that's the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes, here, 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 together, together, like that. Okay, moving on to the second part, right hand goes down to the G sharp, and then up more than an octave, a tenth to the B up here, and then down to G sharp twice. G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E. And that's the second part. One more time for the second part. So it goes like this, the low G sharp here. And more than an octave stretch up to the B. G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E. And that's it for the right hand for this second part. Okay, so yeah. Let's go ahead and now do the left hand for the second part. Left hand here, we have four chords here. The four chords are C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Second chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. And then the third and fourth chord are both A majors, which is A, C sharp, E, two of them. Simple as that. So the four chords one more time for the second part is C sharp minor, G sharp minor, and A major twice. With that in mind, the two hands together goes like this, the low G sharp and the C sharp minor together. F sharp and G sharp minor together. A major twice by itself. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, just like that. One more time. So it goes like this. So it goes together. Together. Here, two, three, four. Here, two, three, four. Just like that. And that's the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far, we've been playing like this. Check it out. Just like that. 
beautiful stuff ready. Let's move on. The third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so you actually know it already, so it just goes like this. Like that. Actually, yeah, that's without the C sharp minor and the G sharp as well, because that's actually the next part. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, what do you call it? Okay, the fourth part is actually pretty much the same as the uh, second part as well, but we add an extra thing at the end with the right hand. Okay, so I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here is still the same for the fourth part, same as the second part here. And then here, right hand goes, I still want you, which corresponds to the notes. Right hand goes down to C sharp, and then the second C sharp and A major together. G sharp like that. Okay, so remember it just goes C sharp, C sharp, E, A, G sharp like that. Yeah, but I still want you it corresponds to those notes. So with the A major chord with the second C sharp like this. Let's get on. Yeah, so that's the only difference. Okay, so remember the fourth part, same as the second part pretty much, but with the extra uh, ending with the melody there, I still want you in the C sharp. That. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, one more time for this fourth part, so it goes like this. Like that, and that's the fourth part. So back to back, the fourth part that we've learned in this lesson will just be played like this. Check it out. like that okay so yeah it's not that difficult because you can see there's a particular pattern going on with it okay so yeah okay so yeah so what the thing is you just have to remember where you have to not play it and where you have to play it okay so uh, the, that's the third and fourth part that I just played so remember the first and second part you don't include that ending for the right hand the I said da, 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 and then you just repeat the whole thing again and play it with that ending like that, okay? So yeah, it's not that difficult. So I hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead, after you have like learned the melody and chords, you can add some extra stuff to make it sound more, I guess, pretty. But even in the original, you can hear it's just like a chord. Like it's going like that, it's pretty calm. So if you wanna make it bigger, you can. You can be like adding arpeggios and like octaves and stuff, you can be like. how to improvise and all do all this cool stuff I guess go ahead you can actually learn from my piano courses okay, from my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below where you learn a lot of stuff including how to play by ER improvise read sheet music and a lot of other stuff so go ahead check it out for yourself but anyway yeah check out the rest of my channel as well I have literally multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from also if you are a BTS um, enthusiast go ahead check out the other BTS piano covers and tutorials I've done on this channel I've done many of them just search up BTS Amos doll in the search bar and you find out all the stuff that I've done in the past for our uh, based on like uh, BTS songs okay but anyway yeah so hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope you enjoyed the channel as well so just go ahead and explore it so enjoy the time around my channel and see you next time I'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.